Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just a YouTuber, and in today's video we're going to be going over how to set up your own custom preset for EQ on your headset. Uh, this should work with the Void Pro Wireless and any wired headset that Corsair offers. I personally have only had the wireless headphones, so I couldn't tell you what the wired ones would be like. Um, if they have like a different output or receiving input. Any, yeah, like in English. Nonetheless, um, today that's what we're going to be going over. Now, I'm going to assume that you've already installed the software, of course. If you haven't, there's a link down in the description that you can click on and it will start downloading the file for you and you can install that and get that set up and pause the video while that's going on. And once that's all set up and your device is all connected, we can go forth with the tutorial. So in this case, since I have the wireless Void Pros, I'm going to be clicking on those to bring up the, I guess, uh, information for the software. And we want to go down to presets. So I have movie theater on because I was watching a TV show. So we can turn these guys off. Well, until I make a new one, we can turn leave that one on. But we're going to hit the plus sign, and that's going to create a EQ preset. Okay. So you double click it to change the name this part in this part. Yeah. For this I'm gonna name it um FBS uh, Siege, I guess. It's the first person shooting I play. And then we're gonna go down to the uh, EQ sliders. So if you're looking at this you see thirty-two 64, 125, 250, 500, 1K, 2K, 4K, 8K, 16K. These are all your different mids, lows, and highs. So, and everything in between. So, hello, Crow. Go away. Um, what you want to do here is turn some of these down. But we're going to turn them all down because we're going to only turn a few certain ones up to the max and we're also going to adjust ones to the midway and whatnot uh okay so we got everything turned down what we want to do is right use the 32 up to the mid put the 64 up to a little bit over the thing over over the thing over the 32 i mean raise the 125 where the 64 is put the 250 at the mid raise the 500 up Put the 1K right under. Put the 2K right next to 1K. 4K. 16K is going to go up. And then this guy is going to go like right there. Okay. So if you're looking at this from left to right, left is your lows, high is your mids. Or high is your right. So I'm um, trying to give a best example to explain this. This is what you basically want to start out with until you go into your game. You're gonna pretty much gonna have to go into your own game that you play, and you can already hear the sound difference. Um, the six, so from the 500 to the 16k is your mids and highs, and that's gonna tell you where a footstep is coming from, if it's in another room or farther out distance-wise. Your 32 to your 500 is your lows and that's going to tell you where a enemy is from basically if they're in the same room as you to right outside the front door kind of deal so the closer you are the more lows it's going to be the farther they are the higher it's going to be if that makes sense and like i said this is where you can start out with and then you go into the game that you're setting it up for and test it out and adjust as needed um but that's essentially how it's going to work your 500 to 16k is for farther distance where your 32 and 500 is for closer distance um but i hope this helps if you guys have any questions you can leave them down in the comments of course uh be glad to help now another thing i forgot to mention you can either choose to leave the surround sound on or make it in the stereo it's kind of your choice surround sound i per personally leave on because I can hear them in what direction they're coming from, from inside the cup, if they're on my left or on my right. 
Uh, but stereo works this basically the same. It depends on how your EQ is set up also. So if you have that set up to where that's more focused on directional rather than just the loudness, then obviously you don't have to have the surround sound on. But like I said, if you guys need help, I don't mind helping. Just drop it down in the comments. Join the Discord, of course. I've set up a Discord for you guys if you guys need assistance. Um, or hit me up on one of my social media pages. I'd be more than happy to help. I hope this video helped, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. She's acting like a pro. Oh, baby, let's go.